My name is Lizard Bulu Kitia Gementera. I have some limitations. A sapling is a, is a tree that you've planted that has just shot up and uh, why we chose the name sapling is because uh, uh, you're able to mold a tree while it is still very young. So uh, when we get the children at the center, we are able to mold them uh, so that they can become acceptable in the society. We mold them in a certain way so to make them better people in the society. We started up uh, the foundation uh, two couples called special children. We have a special board, and the other couples have a special board who is schooling in this uh, center. And uh, the other lady is a lawyer. And the five of us are the ones who started up the foundation. I used to work with a bank, uh, and uh, I'd been there for since I was very young, and I was actually going up the ladder. And uh, I realized that uh, my son was not doing very well because he'd improved, then uh, he'd slide back down. So I talked with my husband and I thought, and I told him that it is important that I take more time with my son uh, so that he can be able to improve, improve more. So uh, I stayed home with him and I was taking him for different therapies. That's how, when I realized how difficult it was to actually keep taking him to different places. We place the children depending on their abilities. So we have the beginners class, which we call Olive, uh, Olive class, which has very, the very small children who have uh, not learned a lot of the uh, basic skills. Eh? So we train them on, uh, on uh, activities of daily living we train them, uh, you know, like the activities of daily living are things like dressing, like potty training, feeding themselves, you know, basic things of that nature. We, we, we normally have to train most of them here. Then eventually they go on learning on literacy. So uh, we have different categories of children and literacy levels. Uh, we even have one class where we are training the children, which is a bit more advanced, so we are training the children so that we can be able to integrate, and integrate them to regular schools. And we've had success with quite a number of children. Sapling Trust, I am going to help you, I am going to help you. I am going to help you, I am going to help you, I am going to help you. Hata ile kukaa kwake kusimama pia balancing hali lakini sasa amesaidika sana hapa. Ameweza sasa anaongea, anaweza kuandika na umesaidika kwa physiotherapy na occupational therapy. Hata occupational therapy anaweza kuvaa nguo zake mwenyewe, kujisaidia mwenyewe. Ilikuwa kwa hiyo hawezi lakini hapa nashukuru sana Safely Trust. Wame amenisaidia sana mtoto ameendelea vizuri sana. My name is Nirmala. And I've been at Sapling for four and a half years now. I had a spinal injury, which left me paralyzed from the lower body, from the, from the middle belly downwards. So there was no movement completely in my legs. But now, after all the therapy, the machines I've used here at Sapling, I can walk around now. And I'm much better. Since we started uh, in 2010, we have had over 200 clients uh, pass through, both adults and children, mostly children, of course. Some of these children are children that the parents had actually thought nothing could be done. But when they come here, they really are grateful that they get the assistance that they, 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 they require. 
in terms of therapies, in terms of education, and in terms of also diet and uh, counseling in order to be able to, you know, live a more wholesome life. Mimi nipopata mtoto huyu kuanzia mwanzo pale nilijua ni mtoto fulani okay vile alivyo So from the beginning nikaanza kumshughulikia yani sikutaka alemaye yani akai hivi hivi na na kuna hata hapa naona kuna wazazi wengi wanaficha watoto wao kama hao hivyo ni makosa yani kwa hivyo ningefurahi yani ingekuwa vijambo zuri sana kama wao wanampenda mtoto wao wamlete kwenye centre kama hizi apate usaidizi thing that I'd like to mention here is most of the boys that you have seen in the classes today, they came here when they were growing children. Because nine years is not a short time indeed. And within the nine years you have seen children who came here knowing nothing but growing babies. Today they are big men. Today most of them are able to write. Most of them are able to do some little arithmetics. And uh, this is what gives us a lot of satisfaction in our work. And it also gives us a reason for moving forward. We have categorized the semesters into three, just like the other normal school learning calendars. And for every semester, we are charging about 40,000. That is subsidized rate of 40,000. I don't know how it happens so, but most of the parents who have these precious children come from very, very humble backgrounds. And uh, there comes a point whereby even some of them have to subsidize for their fare to bring the children here to school. And these are the things that have been bothering us over the years. But thank God we are where we are today. We must mention that we are doing much better than, than when we started. The challenges are still there. Of course, when we, when we came to this place, the rent we were paying for the facility was in the region of 70,000. Today, you are paying over 130,000 per month. So it's also a challenge. But uh, the well wishes and uh, most of our friends have come up to assist us in a big way. Having a child who is special, uh, you know, they, they bring so much joy to your life. You know, uh, when you just sit with them, the basic things that they do, the kind of laughter that they have, it really brings a lot of joy. We have very different varieties of people and the learning is in so many different ways. So it has helped me to open up my mind, even to my regular children to their different learning abilities and, and uh, understanding that you do not have to train children to do one specific thing, like just academics. You can look at their different traits and their different uh, abilities and help them in whatever category that they are able to do best in. As, as a person who was uh, you know, in the financial institution, you know, sometimes you tend to get uh, stuck on, on one career path basically. Uh, I have found the change has really been enriching for me. Uh, had I remained just in the banking institution, I think I would have been very <laughs> narrow-minded, uh, so to speak. So it is important when you have a, a feel in your, in your heart that you'd like to impact society in a different way, it's important to branch out and do that. Just take a step and, and the rest sort of uh, falls in, in place with time. Yeah, it's never easy, but you should not give up once you start doing something. It normally works out eventually.